So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, being in the streets and coming from the streets like most, you know, we try to keep stay silent about what happened and what didn't happen, you know what I'm saying, things like that. You know, just so y'all, I'm from Chicago, so I don't want to hear that fuck shit tell us, oh, nigga, ain't from Chicago, he talking shit. I think I'm from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't really like speaking on niggas and what they do, but I am going to speak on the death of this one guy. Because I think it's fuckery for everybody to keep on, you know, especially people who don't know people. You know, like I don't know this guy personally, but I know how niggas move. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm one of them niggas. 051 Melly, man. You know? I ain't got nothing against this guy, man. This guy is probably a stand-up man. You know what I'm saying? I heard he's a family man. I heard he's a good guy. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and just because you do certain things in your life, you know what I'm saying, that's don't make you a bad guy. You make you make bad decisions. And sometimes you just force into a certain life, you know what I'm saying? But this guy, 051 Melly, man, you know, he's a legend, you know what I'm saying? Compared, you know, I've been around legends before, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the... This killing shit, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, street shit, you know what I'm saying? And most of y'all don't understand. If you grew up in that shit, you know what I'm saying, you would understand, you know? It's hard to get out that shit, and it's, and it's tricky, you know what I'm saying? You think to yourself, like, you know, though these my guys, my guys love me and all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, it's hard for me to believe that those guys love that man, bro. Because I'm watching this video, and I, I don't like watching it, man. Trust me, I don't like seeing nobody get, you know, gunned down and nothing like that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's not a good look, man. But I'm watching, as I'm watching this video, I'm paying attention to this video. Boy, y'all some fucked up ass people, boy, that was in that party, man. That was in that house. That whole situation, man, was suspect like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, Joe, we don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? So I know Buddy was Buddy was on his shit. Buddy went over there thinking everything was smooth. I know that's what the case was, boy. I know that's the case, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Niggas probably set him up. Niggas, I ain't going to say probably. I'm going to say niggas set him up. I'm going to say why. Just because I want that don't mean I don't know what the setup look like when I see it. You know what I'm saying? How are oh, you having this big ass party? About 30 people in this party now. Let's not even talk about inside the party. Let's talk about it's a whole bunch of niggas outside the party too. And bitches, trust me. How these guys was able to walk in this house and get, get that dude like that. You know what I'm saying? While all your guys around him. Including your uh, friendly neighbor. Uh, friendly uh, people that you fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like... Uh, not the ops and nothing like that, but your people that I mean, you fuck with, you know what I'm saying? Different areas, Gyro City and all these other people, STL, all this other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Which I have no idea what these boys doing, but I do have an idea of how killers move and shit and what shouldn't and what should happen. So, I'm thinking to myself like, damn, bro, he's sitting in this house. How y'all let him even get in the house, whether it's a back door or not? How y'all even let this stick in the house to shoot this man, you know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. And then y'all got these women... These females, man, these females be the niggas set up, man. It be the niggas downfall, bro. I'm watching the video, and I'm looking at my video. I'm like, damn, first the video looked pretty, you know, normal house party-ish. But as I noticed, you know, because niggas do notice shit, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't notice, nothing, something wrong with you. As he's chilling, you know, with his head on walking around with his drink, you know, it's a few bitches in that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And these two bitches, they never really left his sight, you know what I'm saying? And these hoes got them throwing up they throwing up these little hand signs and signals and shit, you know what I'm saying? Which which where I'm from, I'm from out west, you know, so y'all wanna know, you know what I'm saying? Where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, you don't do none of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could tell the bitches got them a signal to a motherfucker. As soon as the bitches threw their hands up and, and, and put it down while the certain gang sign, I'm pretty sure that was a gang sign she threw up or uh go ahead green light, you know what I'm saying? The nigga come right out the blue with the thump. I see him come pull right there, like, you know, and I knew exactly what happened. As soon as I heard the shot, I knew they shot him in somewhere in his leg or his dick. Because if you're a shooter, bro, you know exactly what niggas gonna have. Niggas gonna react how you shoot him. You know what I'm saying? So I knew exactly what happened. You know what I'm saying? When that happened, man. So I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, bro, he ain't have a chance to reach for a shit if that's the case. You know what I'm saying? But I'm thinking to myself, killers respect killers. So if all you niggas in this party, man, it's supposed to be with his guys. Y'all supposed, supposed to respect that man. And he respected the fact that y'all respected him to be there. You know what I'm saying? Because he respect killers too. The problem is, man, y'all niggas is thirsty, bro. Y'all niggas bogus, man. Like, that's crazy. Y'all, somebody set that man up, bro. I ain't gonna say the whole party, but I'm gonna say at least seven, eight niggas or females. It was, it was too easy for them to get to Buddy. Buddy got a reputation. Come on now. 
Buddy got a reputation, man. My reputation ain't nowhere near as Buddy was, and I'm trying to tell you, goddamn it, shit. I won. Boy, I was on my shit everywhere. I went, you know what I'm saying? And for Buddy that meant to be cool to come, collecting in that party, and I had to worry about nothing. That means he was cool. He felt comfortable around his people. And like I said, I ain't speaking on the man's death or nothing like that, man. You know, rest up, buddy. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't with all that op shit and none of that stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm with that. You know, that's a life goal, man. You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all say he took lives. He he murdered stuff. You know, you know that's the life you live. That's what will happen to you, too. Don't get me wrong now. If that's the life you live, that's what's going to happen to you eventually. But all I don't understand is, I'm not saying why it happened to him. I'm just saying, man. That ain't happening unless somebody fucking set him up. That's what I'm saying. Or unless he just, you know, felt like them niggas was too cool. Or he just got too comfortable with them niggas. I don't know. Niggas killers don't usually do that. So, I mean, I guess it's this new age shit. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm like, damn, bro. You know, and like, come on now. All those shots, bro. Nobody helped this man. Like, nobody helped this man, bro. Like, that's crazy. Nobody tried to put some pressure on him or nothing, bro, you know, the little, little, little shit count, man, I probably could have saved that dude, like, this nigga on the camera, you know, who's doing the, the, the live shit, you know, I'm thinking to myself, like, bro, put your, drop your phone, nigga, you right by him and help him, you know what I'm saying, you talk about, call the police, y'all some goofies, no, or, or, or all this other shit you was talking about, bro, you the goofy, bro, you the one was tweaking, bro, and if you, and I'm gonna say you tweaking on some of the fact that you talking about they kill y'all male, they kill y'all male. Why you not helping y'all male? That's you so sad for him and all this other stuff. Why you not helping him? Why you ain't turn your phone off? Matter of fact, why you ain't just fucking call the ambulance for him? Yet it's still you still recording. Got niggas going in this man pocket, disrespecting the man, bro. That's how I know niggas, man. That somebody on some fuck shit, bro. Nah, okay, don't get me wrong. Now don't tell me, don't get me wrong. I believe, I believe that most of them niggas going in his pocket was trying to get rid of you know little shit. Like maybe one of his friends or something that was actually there and dude who didn't have a gun maybe. Was trying to get the gun off of him, which it didn't. It wouldn't have mattered. Maybe they was just trying to keep the gun for themselves as a souvenir. You know how these people, all these weirdos, man, dudes a legend. Niggas been going in his pocket, taking shit out of his pocket, trying to keep for souvenirs and shit. You know how they, John Dillinger, uh, Bonnie Clyde, go back all back in the day, out of all this shit, man. So you know, if Buddy Ass was a killer like that, that Buddy Ass got them, uh, all that shit was worse on the people. And I'm not saying that's the case. That's the reason why they took it. I'm just saying that could be a reason. But well, they could be just trying to make sure that he ain't getting in no trouble or there wasn't no uh, significant evidence on him about nothing else, you know what I'm saying? It made him look bad doing this, uh, you know, doing a uh, situation. But like I said before, man, um, I feel for Shorty, I feel for Buddy Family because his, his, his girl just got his baby mom, I believe. She had just passed a few months ago. His mom passed a few years ago. His brother passed. His brother, uh, I believe, locked. his other brother's locked up about to come home, I believe. Which I don't know how he feeling, man. I feel, you know, I feel bad for him. My condolences out to that man. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, bro, like you losing everybody, bro. So I hope you come home on some positive. If not, then you know, get your get back. You know, I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not on either side, bro. I just want to make sure that y'all understand, man. Y'all don't need to be killing each other. And only that, man. So from my understanding, he was a real nigga, man. Why, why y'all let a real nigga die, bro? You know what I mean, bitch ass niggas out here, bro. Like, that's crazy. You know what I mean, bitch ass niggas out here, bro. Like. I know dude did his thing, bro. Don't get me wrong. But as far as I know of, too, he was also a good person, decent person. They say he took care of a lot of people, bro. As far as I'm concerned, I like niggas like that, man. Just because you go off and do your own little thing, bro, that's like a job, as far as I'm concerned. And, but as long as you take care of your family and your family, man, that's what's up. So I ain't even mad at bro ass for none of that shit. I can't be. I'm mad at you niggas. I'm not BD or none, GD, none of that. So I ain't got nothing to do with none of y'all shit, you know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, I'm speaking on the death of a... A man, goddammit, who I feel like, like he shouldn't have went that day, you know what I'm saying? If he was going to go any day, because Carmen will catch up with you, don't get me wrong. So I don't want to see him act like he's going to live forever. But what I am saying is, bro, somebody set that man up, bro. That shit wasn't even right, yo. You know what I'm saying? That's some sucker shit, because I've seen niggas do that plenty of times. Niggas are suckers, bro. Niggas are bitches. And trust me, when niggas scared of you, bro, niggas will kill you anyway. Niggas will try to get you anytime they can. You know what I'm saying? Killers respect killers, bro. So most times they stay out each other's way. You know what I'm saying? But when you scared of a nigga, bro, yeah, you know, it's like pushing a cat in the corner. A cat don't want to fight a dog. He'll run. But if you push that cat in the corner, he'll fuck that dog up. You understand what I'm saying? So if you push a cow a motherfucker who's scared of you, bro, and I don't know if bro was thinking like, you know, people are scared of him. I don't know how he was looking at it. I don't know if he even thought about it. But what I can tell you is he should have thought about it. Because niggas, when you got a reputation like that, most niggas scared of you. 
There's very few people like you running around, goddammit, you know what I'm saying? Those niggas stay away from you at all times. Because there's no telling what you would do to them or what they would do to you. You see what I'm saying? So y'all try to stay out of each other's yeah, atmosphere. But for everybody in that party, I know all you niggas had guns, bro. Nobody shot back, bro. Y'all let this nigga walk right about the party. You not going to tell me this nigga got up out that party, bro. And don't get me wrong. They trying to say people got shot over. Uh, the last few days, people been getting killed and stuff like that. Yeah, I know. They should be. That's that's retaliation. That's, you know, it's something behind something, man. You know, niggas like that just don't die. You just get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? Shit going to be cool. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand, man. Shit, this shit's, a, this shit's real life. This ain't... A lot of you motherfuckers on YouTube and shit, y'all play too much, man. Y'all be out here getting niggas killed and shit, putting people's name out there. You know, I don't know if those girls had really anything to do with it, but it looked like they had a little something to do with it, with their hand signals and shit. Because dude came right out and blew that blue bro down, bro. That's crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? And my dad a BD, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking to myself, like, boy, them BD, boy, oh, they got issues, bro. I don't understand why they ain't getting each other and all this other shit. I know they clicked up and shit now and shit, and it ain't all BD, you know, it's clicks now, but damn, bro. Woo. And I ain't, like I said, I ain't taking nobody's side, bro. I'm just taking, like, I'm, I'm thinking it from a uh, point, if I was him, you know what I'm saying? Like, but as I'm saying, we live the same shoes, you know what I'm saying? We've been in the same boat, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in myself. I have been kind of killed me a few times, man. And I don't even, I don't feel good about none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna really talk about it, man, because it was depressing, you know what I'm saying? So, and watching them go like that, bro, that was depressing, you know? How niggas just snaked them and shit, that's some snake shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, Fazem was saying, I feel like the whole party kind of kind of snaked them and shit. Because I think, like, I feel like I've been in that I've been in that situation. I feel like motherfuckers knew what's going to happen before it happened. Because almost like they were sitting back waiting for it, you know what I'm saying? The party wasn't even really live like that. You know what I'm saying? They said it was, but it didn't look like it to me. It's like two bitches throwing signals or they just dancing. I, I highly doubt they was dancing, but it looked like they was throwing signals. Everybody else was just standing around, looking. And the guy with the camera, I don't know, man. You know, he's screaming and shit, tossing y'all, y'all tweaking all this other shit. No, nigga, you tweaking, bro. That's your man's, bro. What are you doing? Where your gun, nigga? You, I'm pretty sure about 40% of you niggas in the had guns, bro. Nobody bust back at, bro. Nobody got buddy. Nobody got that buddy head. Nobody trying to do nothing, dog. Nothing, right? Y'all just let the man, y'all go through the man's pocket. Y'all don't try to put pressure on the man or nothing, bro. I'm not saying y'all was still in any of that shit, bro, because I don't know what y'all niggas was doing. I don't know what I did. I know what I did see, and I didn't see nobody helping them. And y'all want to show all this love and shit, all this other shit, man. What, what was the love at when y'all was there? Y'all shot that Let that man get shot up like that, man. Nobody even, they said 30 minutes for the ambulance to get there. Damn, how long it take y'all to call him? Now, I know Chicago, bro. I'm from Chicago, so I know Chicago, bro. I know it sometimes take a little while for the police to get there, but if y'all not telling a nigga that a nigga shot and them is pretty much bleeding out right now, they not gonna they gonna take their time. They not gonna but if you just say, hey, we need a police officer here, they definitely taking their time. You know what I'm saying? Like so, from my understanding, that's what I was hearing. I'm hearing the goddamn that motherfuckers call the police, but not the ambulance. You know what I'm saying? So the I don't know, man. All I can say is, rest in peace, bro. Rest in peace, Melly, man. Rest in peace to all these little brothers, man. Just out here killing it down and killing each other, man. I'm just sick to my stomach, man. Oh, my God. And it's like a cycle. It'll never end, bro. It'll never end. And I've been in that cycle. Let me tell y'all something, man. I've been in that cycle. I know what that cycle is like. Y'all think this shit's just started. That shit was in the 90s, man. You know what I'm saying? Niggas was getting smoked left and right in the 90s. The internet just popped up all of a sudden. And everybody's getting, um, you know, everybody even snell snitching or self snitching or getting goddamn it, uh, they cloud points up. I don't know what you want to call it. But when I was coming up, you ain't want to be known as no kid. You ain't want nobody to know what you was on. For that matter, let alone being a killer. You know what I'm saying? So, but these niggas love long to be a killer. You know, they love putting themselves out there. Niggas talking about they going to get hit with guns and bazookas and shit. Like, boy, y'all better sit y'all ass down before they do hit your ass with a bazooka. You know what I'm saying? I know we only got one I can live. I know I was caught up in that world, man. I know what it was like. To fucking run around with another can in the world, blowing at everything you see. You know what I'm saying? So y'all ain't the first. Y'all just started this, man. Chicago been violent, man, for many, many years, man. You know what I'm saying? And like they say, man, once they took the big leaders out the way, the shorty names just got wild as fuck, bro. Shorty names just started wilding out, man. Because they ain't had nobody to tell them, like, it's consequences. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no consequences no more. It's just death. And if y'all don't know about death and blood, man, and stuff like that, man, that's, that's spiritual, bro. That's spiritual, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you spread blood, when you shed blood, bro, it's spiritual. That's, that's in your soul, bro. It's over with after that. 
It's, it's like a ritual, bro. You can't even get out of that. Why you think they use blood in, in rituals? Why you think these little niggas, they under a spell, bro? Everybody's under a spell in Chicago. At least not everybody. I'm going to say the goons and the savage, they all under a spell, bro. And it's never going to change. I know y'all think it's going to change, but it's not, man. You know, it started with us. It probably started before us. But I'm going to say it started with us back in the 90s, man. You know? We was just smart enough. Some of us were just smart enough, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to watch our step. You know, some of us were smart enough to stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? And most of us that's gone, was gone for a reason. I don't wish death on nobody, man. I don't wish jail on nobody. You know, whatever I did back in the day, how I did it, man, it was due to stupidity and me not really thinking. And, uh... Some of it was me having to handle my business, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, man, I'm thinking about it, man. He had no business going in that party, bro. I mean, like, he had no business himself going in that party. I mean, if you move like you move, bro, because I move like that. You don't go to parties, man. I don't know how, I don't know if it's a new thing for a new age, you know, niggas, but you don't go to parties like that, man. Not, not when you got fucking shit on your head. I heard he had money on his head. But that ain't even the case. Say fuck the money, right? You still got a reputation, nigga. You don't got no business in house parties. The scariest nigga kill you if he feel like you gonna do something to him. You ain't even gotta know this nigga, but if he feel like you gonna do something to him, he'll whack you, bro. Trust me, I know. These niggas crazy. In the head, at least. They ain't crazy really with the light, but they crazy in the head. They, they get to thinking all type of ADHD shit. They get to going nuts. But for y'all let that man get smoked like that, man, that was... That was that was not good, man. That's why I tell y'all, ain't no such thing as friends, man. You know, I had to learn the hard way. And I ain't saying like, okay, there's such thing as friends. There's no such thing as homies. I'm ride for my guys, the squad, the gang, bro. The gang ain't none of that, bro. Yo ass getting put on the t-shirt and that's it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas ain't paying for help pay for no rent. Them niggas ain't help pay your mom. Help your mother with the funeral costs. They ain't helping your kids. Niggas ain't got them coming to your funeral. Nigga ain't got them going to go find me. Niggas ain't going to get you a go find me page started, boy. I let alone, God damn it, uh, do anything else. So just know, man, these guys ain't your friends, man. Like I said before, I ain't picking no sides, man. I'm not saying who's right, who's wrong. All I'm saying is, man, that man had no business down in that party. You understand what I'm saying? So rest in peace to 051, Melly. Rest in peace to all you young brothers, man, that's dying out here. Everybody just died behind, bro, buddy. Everybody that died before Buddy, and everybody's bu buddies allegedly, allegedly killed. Because I don't know what he did. I haven't been around a nigga like that, and I don't know him. So I definitely can't speak down on him, and I'm definitely not going to speak up on him. But what I can say is what I heard. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, man, whatever's, whatever's been said, man, hopefully he, uh, hopefully his kids, you know what I'm saying, getting well taken care of, man. He got some support. They got a support system behind them. But, but other than that, man, hopefully they don't grow up nothing. Like they dad or like they are in Chicago right now. How the kids grow up in Chicago right now. Because they need a better future, man. You know, they lost both of their parents. One of their grandparents. Uh, one of their uncles. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no tough, man. I, I, don't, I feel bad for the kids, man. You know, and I heard he was a great father, man. So I, I feel bad for them definitely for that too. You know what I'm saying? Because regardless of what you do on your side life, you know, you still have your real life. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. It's a lot of people gone, man. So, uh. I just want to say STL, Jaro City, uh, uh, FBG Duck, and uh, all these other guys that's out here, Nemo 600, all these other guys out here, THF, N no, NLMB, and all these other guys out here, man, listen, we got to do better, man. We got to do better, and I know y'all don't want, I know y'all don't want to hear that shit, man, but ain't gonna never stop, man, and I know y'all know that. The more blood you put on here, the more spiritual it gets. The more wild y'all become. Y'all just got up down side upside down crosses on y'all forehead, man. Y'all know how demonic that is. Whatever energy you putting out, that's the energy you're gonna get back. That's the world. I ain't just saying that. That's the world itself telling you that. If you smart enough, you should know that. If you have common sense, you should know that. Okay? Yeah, man, I'm out, man. Y'all like, subscribe, man, when y'all get a chance. Uh, I'm going to put up another video later on, man, and, you know, comment about some shit that's going on, some more shit that's going on in the crib. I also have uh, basketball videos I'm about to put up, so y'all leave a link, in, uh, I mean, a comment, and let me know what y'all want, uh, want me to talk about, who y'all want me to uh, speak on, 
Well, y'all can come back in here and do what y'all want to do too, you know what I'm saying? Because follow the concerned, it's an us thing, it's not a me thing, so. Y'all feel like y'all know some things, y'all want to talk about some things, y'all let me know. Put the comments, put them in the comments and let me know, you know what I'm saying? So we can talk about something besides death, you know what I'm saying? And I definitely don't like doing it, you know what I'm saying? But I know dude was a real dude, you know, she's a 100 dude. And, you know, we walk together, man, in those shoes, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to that, so. Yeah, rest up, buddy. Rest up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, yeah, like and subscribe, man. Let me know what's up, y'all. Yeah. I'm going to put up another video tomorrow, man. Uh, I hope it's a private funeral, man. You know what I'm saying? The buddy was too long, man. I hope it's a private funeral. Because that's how my cousin was. My cousin passed, man. And we had to, we had to have a private funeral because we was in tour with so many people, man. We just, like I said, been in the 90s, man. Come on now. You know, just say just started with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's just try to clear it up, clean it up just a little bit, though. And with that, man, it's your boy Money, man. I'm out, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all take care, man. Tune in next time.